fam fam welcome back if you this my channel welcome my name is Seth. I come to my jay okay so and i just scratched myself literally should i turn this on hold on yep i shall leave it turned on all right so in today's video the main reason why i wanted to film this video i actually didn't plan on talking but the moment i turned on the camera i was like okay just speak i've been thinking about this red look and i really want to do that i saw the look on what this girl's youtube i don't know i can't remember her name to be honest with you but i believe she was in the new jacqueline hill volume 2 x you know morphe brush palette or whatever and it's like a red look and I really wanted to do something similar to that so let's see if we're gonna get that but I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty electric obsessions palette and we're mainly gonna be using that red shade right there and um, a black shade from the Bobbi Brown caviar and rubies palette I think we'll see how we go okay let's just jump into it by the way if you watch my recent video you know that I commented on that video that my intro song got copyrighted so sadly it looks like we would no longer have like pray for me that song means so many things to me and i'm so sad that it got copyrighted but i'm also just praying to god almighty in heaven that they don't copyright all my other videos because that's been my intro song for over a year so i'm putting this out there please youtube please whatever record company it is that's claiming you know that claim copyright on that song please please leave my old videos alone i'm so sad and i only use like 13 seconds or so 13 to 15 seconds of that song so now I don't know what we're gonna use for intro. So for now, the intro is just gonna keep overlaying, you know, on video as I continue to talk to you, just as it did just then, or it's doing now, all right? So I've got the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette, and we're just gonna dive right in. I'm gonna pick up this red shade right here. So I'm gonna stamp this in my crease, but a little bit above my actual crease, cause you know, that hooded eye issue, okay? Or the hooded eye blessing. <laughs> but I'm gonna bring it a little bit above. Actually, I think I need the concealer to be a bit brighter. L'Oreal Infallible Modern Concealer. Let's just use this one. Yep, that's better. So this is the Shop Miss A LA Studio E137 brush. By the way, I don't know if you know this. I think I, I yeah, I definitely did because I was quite sad in my previous video. I mentioned it that my audio is kind of just, I don't know, decided to go up to its ancestors, you know? So now, for now, I'm going to keep using my phone until I get a new audio. Bring it in. When I apply concealer, I kind of brought it out here a bit. So I'm going to bring, so I can bring this shadow out a little bit, kind of it out. You know what? Let's do the other eye as we go. Because <laughs> later on I might not remember what I did. Okay, this is the eye that's like cl that's more close. <laughs> then this one, this one is more open than this one is. So whenever I'm doing this eye, I always have to like lift my brow so I can see what I'm doing because this one is more hooded. That's the word. Alright. Now we're gonna go ahead and blend the edge, and this is why I get a little bit nervous because things can get blown out of proportion, okay? I'm not really gonna worry too much about the one down here because we're gonna cut that in a sec. Okay, that's better. Look at that comparison. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a little bit of what the person did and pick up a black shadow from the Bobbi Brown Cavalier and Ruby's eyeshadow palette. Even though this black kind of looks a bit brown gray, but we're gonna use this to deepen the crease a little or to define the crease and picking that up. So now I am gonna go ahead and cut the crease. Let's see. Let's try not to panic. Oh, this concealer is finishing. I'm using a low and fabric more like a concealer, by the way. I'm not gonna do the place down look up trick because it would then transfer, you know, probably gonna go higher than I wanted to. I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting. Just right a little bit underneath that muted black shade we used, or I used. Ooh, that's good. I mean, I think it could be higher. All right, so I've gone ahead and cut both creases and I actually kind of reinforced the dark shade a bit right here because, you know, I had already covered it with a concealer, you know what I mean? So I basically just picked up the black shade and applied it using a flicking motion to kind of flick it upward and that's what I did. And I also kind of dragged out the red shade out into my inner corner a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, I'm gonna go ahead and pack that red shade on the lid. Hmm, I think I'm using the wrong brush, but let's just use this first. I'm gonna, you know, apply it on the lower part of the lid and then use a concealer brush for the rest because I want it to be precise. You know what? I think I'm gonna kind of do what that lady did a bit. I'm gonna pack the shade, but leave a bit of a space in between, like that gap. Or I'm having a thought right now. Oh, okay. 
I was gonna go ahead and set the concealer first before I actually fill it in. Why was I just excited just then? Like, it's not like I've done something so extraordinary. Like, you don't congratulate a fish for swimming, you know what I mean? Anyway, I think I kinda wanna set that space a bit. So I wanna grab a lighter shade or maybe use a translucent powder. I kinda like that color of the concealer. So, I've got my Cody Airspun powder right in front of me and just set this, this gap a bit. Bit. so that way it doesn't like crease crease throughout the day even though i'm taking this makeup off soon after i finish him in this video <laughs> how cool would it be if i just go like that <laughs> i want to but at the same time i'm just like whoa ain't nobody got time <laughs> Ooh, that's shade difference though. Oh, maybe because I mixed the black one with the, mixed the one here with black. Oh! Oh, that's good. Now, you know what? You know what I'm praying for now? Not to happen? My eyes to start watering again. Oh, as I say, I can feel it. So it's all done. <laughs> I've applied lashes and I'm back with these spider lashes. I, I really, I'm not a massive fan of them, but there's a certain look <clears throat> or finish it kind of gives to, to most looks, or let me say some looks, but I don't know if it's fitting this look per se. I don't know. Honestly, I can see the entire reflection right here. <laughs> all right, so I actually thought a few times about cleaning this up, like just making the look look like this instead of the winged out look like this. So I don't know yet. I think I'll, fi I'll you know, fully decide very soon. I mean, if it were to look like this, it looks good. That's kind of like a dramatic look. Ooh. Oh my God. Dab this out with a brush. Just gotta go for it, mate. Just go for it. Do you know what I'm saying? You just gotta go for it. Okay, not bad. Yep. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna do my lower lash line. Okay. I'm just gonna grab that red shade. Oh, hey, too much. I've got it fall out already. Pick up that black shade instead of starting with the red. I'm just gonna smudge this in my lower lash line without going too much inside my waterline because I don't wanna start tearing up again, even though I already am. All right, so now we're gonna pick up our red. I don't want fallout, honey. I'm not putting it under my eye directly. A little bit down here. All right, now we go to town. I'm gonna use this to stem this and use another brush to blend it out. I'm gonna use this to stem this and use another brush to blend it out. I notice I'm not talking loud enough, you know, forgetting that I no longer have a lapel mic. You know what? I'm not gonna bother putting mascara on my lower lash line because I've got no lashes. I mean, on my lower lashes, because I've got no lashes anyway do you know what i mean all right for my inner corner i almost forgot that i think i will i want a bit of shimmer moment okay i don't know if i should apply green or not okay i'm applying this green in the huda beauty palette this one right here is it green mm, blue bluey greeny mm, well shimmer and i'm just placing it in my inner corner you know what would be good a gold highlight i was gonna use my gerard cosmetics as usual but let me find a gold highlight this is our heart makeup bronze and shimmer okay that's what it looks like so i'm gonna pick this one right here it's in gradient <laughs> I can't speak. So it goes from lighter to darkest or lighter to deepest. So I'm picking up the deepest right here on the far end. This is the Australia's Girl Boss Demi Matte Lip Cream in a shade Unlimited, which is my phone plan. Unlimited cause and text. <laughs> 
Okay, this is the end. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this look, especially this one. Let me know what you think. I was gonna put highlight on the brow, but I'm like, it's not every day. It's not every day we do highlights on the brow, boy. It's not every day. You know what I mean? What do you think about this look? I was gonna go ahead and do my hair and put on um earrings, but no, we're not doing that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, fam. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the down, down below. If you yet to join the fam, maybe you should subscribe down below. Okay, and turn on the notifications so that we're doing inside this good video for me. We are almost at 10,000. I've been waiting to hit 10,000 for such a long time we're almost there okay and i just realized i haven't brushed my teeth today and it's 5 30. all right <laughs> anyway we're almost there <laughs> so please subscribe get us there okay get this little black girl there or this thick black girl there okay thanks for watching fan as i said and as always whoever is love yourself and by god's grace i pray i see my very next video bye